Hoi VC, welcome to the Personal Oasis. This is the Blind Island, I'm your host, Isaac, and today we're going to be doing a top five under five, and that will be live albums. So reintroducing this segment after a period of time that it's been stagnant, and I just want to introduce five albums that live albums that I feel are worth taking a listen to. Live albums kind of have a contentious uh, history, and there have been a lot of uh, fake live albums over the history <laughs> of live recordings. And I think that it's really important to just take a look at it today and see which ones that I might recommend. First, I have Van Morrison's It's Too Late to Stop Now. If you're looking for pure, bombastic, soulful, blue-eyed, powerhouse vocals, you're not going to get much better than this. Van the Man is bringing the heat with one of the best backing groups he ever had, and his voice sounds more powerful and impassioned than ever before. Give this double LP uh, listen, it's usually only around $10 and definitely worth the price of admission. Next, I have Albert Ayler uh, live at, in Greenwich Village and uh, this one is definitely a bit of a contentious one. It's not really um, for everybody, it's very much in the vein of free jazz and it's not really readily available for a lot of people. You can't find it on Spotify, it's been combined with a couple of different albums but it, and a couple of different s sessions, but man, if you're looking for impassioned saxophone and just wailing free jazz, you're not going to get much better than this. Don't let the psychedelic flower power uh, cover fool you. This is impassioned free jazz at its finest. Next I have Tom Waits uh, live at the Nighthawks, uh, Nighthawks at the Diner. And you know, I I think that when I was talking about fake live albums, this comes to mind. It was only uh, a small group of people that they brought into the studio to listen to Tom, I think only a, a couple dozen, and it is definitely not a live album in the way it wasn't played in the diner, it was still recorded in a studio, but it definitely has that live feel. He is definitely riffing and ramping and, and vamping the entire time, and the audience ge generally seems to be enjoying themselves. It gives you that feel of what he would be like in a small diner or supper club. Fantastic record, really, really great renditions of his songs, and his storytelling has never been better. Fantastic record if you're looking to get into the live side of Tom Waits. Next I have Beach Boys in Concert. This is a highly underrated live album. One of the best produced live albums I've ever heard. Uh, different renditions of the Beach Boys classic gems and contemporary at the time from Holland and uh, Carl and the Passions. A very, very, very well done uh, live record. The voices sound absolutely immaculate. They were at the peak of their critical powers and creative powers, and I would say that this is a, a lost gem waiting to be rediscovered. Usually you can find this for like four bucks easy, so definitely pick up this two LP set and give it a listen. And my number one pick would be Sam Cooke's Live at the Harlem uh, Summer Club, uh, Squares Club. And Man, wow, what a phenomenal song, what a phenomenal album. I have this one playing in the background, and uh, you know, a lot of people usually say that James Brown, Live the Apollo, is the seminal soul live record. I'd say this one is. It is so good. He is truly just has the audience in the palm of his hand. Wonderful performances, and just cut straight to tape. Great, great record. Well worth finding. So guys, that was my latest top five under five. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below, and I hope that you have a great day on your own personal oasis. Cheers.